Okay, we're talking about traffic signs, and there's three different types of signs. There's regulatory signs, warning signs, and temporary traffic control signs, okay? You need to be aware of these uh, when you're driving because they can save your life, okay? First one we're talking about is a red octagon a sign that says stop. Obviously you've seen all these around and you have to obey the stop signs uh, for your protection and for other people. Another sign that comes uh, that you're going to see a lot is an upside down triangle. It's going to be red and it says yield. That means that uh, whenever you see this sign there's, you have to slow down and pay attention uh, to your surroundings uh, because there will either be uh, oncoming traffic or some other uh, things that you have to be aware of uh, when you're coming to an intersection. Whenever you see a circle with a line through it, that means you cannot uh, take that action. For example, uh, this is no left turn. That means you cannot take a left turn at a traffic signal or at a stop sign or at an intersection. Okay, this means no right turn. You can this means you cannot turn right uh, at an intersection or at a traffic light. And then uh, no U-turn. A lot of times you'll see these in the medians uh, where they do not want you to cross the median or uh, do any type of U-turn because that causes a lot of accidents. One-way signs, uh, you'll see this. This is where the traffic can only flow in one direction. Okay, You'll see a lot of these inside uh, large cities uh, for uh, city blocks you'll see one-way signs you cannot go the opposite direction or you will uh, cause an accident uh, these are uh, only signs you can only go in one direction this says left you can only go into a lane uh, that goes left okay a lot of times you pull up to an intersection and you have to be in the right lane uh, to uh, either go left or uh, or go right okay this one here says that you can go left but there's going to be oncoming traffic going the opposite direction the left turn yield on green sign now this means that you have to stop and look for oncoming traffic and then proceed with caution as you're taking a left turn obviously this is a speed limit sign you cannot go over uh, the maximum speed limit that's posted, this says 55, you cannot go over 55 miles an hour. This is a do not pass sign, and this means that you cannot pass any cars that are ahead of you in your lane. This is a, a median sign, and it tells you that you have to keep right of the median, okay? So when you're uh, entering a highway or you're entering a median, you have to stay to the right-hand side. This sign here, you'll see a lot of these uh, in big cities where the lanes are reserved for vehicles with a driver and one or more passengers. This is uh, when a lot of people, they like to carpool uh, to back and forth to work. And so you'll see a lane that's only uh, dedicated uh, for people that have two or more people inside the vehicle. This is a, a no turn on red sign, which means that if you're at a stoplight, you cannot take a right turn uh, on red and you have to wait for, uh, for the light to turn green. When you see this sign that's reserved for parking, this means a handicapped uh, parking only. That means that only people that have a certified um, a license plate that says handicapped or a handicapped sticker they are the only ones that are able to park uh, in the parking uh, space. Now let's talk about warning signs. Warning signs are usually uh, orange or yellow. Okay, These tell you that you have to slow down because something is up ahead and that you have to change your speed. Okay, This one means that the exit is coming up and that when you take that exit you have to at least be down to 25 miles an hour and proceed with caution. This here tells you that uh, the speed is going to be changing up ahead. And so if you're doing 65 miles an hour uh, up ahead, you're going to have to change that speed and slow down to 45 miles an hour. This is a traffic signal 
telling you that there's going to be a traffic light coming up that you need to slow down for that. This is a no passing zone. You'll see these a lot around schools and uh, hospitals and things like that. So you cannot pass other cars that are ahead of you. This means uh, this arrow with the, uh, the indication there on the right shows you that uh, there's oncoming traffic coming into uh, your lane going in the same direction, okay? So you have to be aware of that, that that's coming up. This sign here shows you that the lane is closing uh, on the right hand side so that you need to shift to your left lane. This here shows you that the divided highway begins and that you have to stay on the right hand side of that uh, of the median. This here shows you that the divided highway ends and that you have to keep right. A lot of times what will happen is the median will end and then you'll be uh, side by side with oncoming traffic so you have to be careful of that and slow down. When you see this sign of uh, entering traffic you must yield to the right of way um, of the traffic that's already in the circle. That means when you see a rotary sign like this and there's traffic inside uh, the rotary you have to sit and wait until there's a break until you could come and get into the circle and go to where you need to go. This sign here you'll see when uh, the pavement is wet you have to reduce your speed because it's going to be very slippery. These signs here where it says uh, dimensions that means you're, you're approaching a bridge uh, that's 13 feet by 6 inches. That means if you're carrying a a load that's uh, 14 feet you will not fit underneath an underpass or a bridge okay so you have to uh, pay attention to that if you're driving trucks or vehicles or um, any type of uh, cargo this sign here will tell you that there's a steep grade ahead and that you have to proceed with caution especially if you're carrying a lot of weight uh, deer crossings um, that's self-explanatory. Usually when they put signs up like this, it means that uh, there have been a lot of deer sightings in the area and that you have to proceed with caution. This is a road sign that joins uh, another street so that you have to pay attention to uh, oncoming traffic on your right hand side. This uh, T sign is going to show you that your, uh, the road that you're on is gonna be coming to a stop and you can either go right or left, okay? But you have to proceed with caution. Whenever you see people in the sign like this, it usually means pedestrians and school crossing so that you have to slow down uh, to at least 25 miles an hour. So pay attention to that. You'll see that again around uh, cities and schools and things like that. What this means is open joints on bridge. Now when uh, they put bridges together the joints are not uh, closely fit so that means uh, it can cause motorcyclists to lose control so if you have a motorcycle you have to be paying attention to these signs here and that you have to slow down because of those joints here uh, in this sign it says 35 miles an hour uh, on a curve coming up so you want to slow down to that sometimes you know when you're uh, traveling anywhere from 55 miles an hour and you're coming up on a turn you will see uh, these type of signs to slow down. Here uh, is another pedestrian sign that you have to watch for people entering in a crosswalk. Okay and again pedestrians and people always have the right of way so you have to pay attention to that. This is another sign that says uh, that bicycles are uh, you know entering in the crosswalk as well or crossing the street or riding side by side with you there's a bicycle lane so you have to pay attention uh, to these signs and pay attention to your surroundings when you see this sign with a Y in it you can either go right or left uh, and that you have to be prepared to make that decision this sign says that in the middle of the curve there is a, a road coming connecting to the curve so you have to uh, pay attention to oncoming traffic and uh, take, it with, take that curve with caution. This uh, sign here 
with a direct uh, arrow going to the right shows you that there's a sharp turn uh, coming up you, you'll have to slow down for. This sign shows that the road ahead curves to the right and to the left so that you have to be aware of what's uh, coming ahead. This sign will show you that the road ahead turns sharply to the right and then to the left. So you definitely want to proceed with caution. This road sign here will show you that it winds a series of turns coming up and uh, to proceed uh, slowly with going through those curves. This one means that there's a four-way intersection coming up and be prepared to stop. This sign here shows you a, a set of railroad tracks and a slope um, at the top of the track, so you have to be aware that you need to slow down uh, for the railroads and that there's a steep incline. This uh, railroad sign is uh, pretty much universal, but you have to be aware that you have to stop, listen, and slow down and be, be prepared to stop uh, for trains. Now on our temporary traffic control signs and uh, symbols, when you see uh, a lot of construction on the road, you'll see barrels or cones. And that once you see that, that means that there's a work zone there and that you cannot go beyond the speed limit that's posted uh, for work construction. Okay, you do not want to uh, change lanes or uh, until you are completely clear of the work zone. Your fines uh, will double or even triple if you're speeding through a construction uh, zone, okay? When you see this triangle, this orange triangle, that means that you cannot travel more than 25 miles an hour uh, going through a work zone. When you see flashing arrows like this on panels, it usually means that there's going to be a shoulder close, a lane close, that you have to make uh, preparations to move over either to the right or to the left and to be prepared uh, to shift lanes. And finally, um, when you see road work ahead or detour, be sure that you slow down because it means that there's construction uh, coming up and usually uh, they'll have these signs about a thousand feet before uh, you reach the construction zone. So those are the traffic signs that I wanted to talk to you about. These are very important that you um, memorize what they are and what they do so that you can drive safely on the roads and that you can uh, be prepared to stop when you need to stop. So that's it for this lesson. I hope you have safe driving.